This is Galliano Island, the island I grew up on, and the island my people come from. My name is Joe Crocker. I am one of the last two of the Penelicate First Nation living on northern Galliano Island, and my uncle is the other. Our land on Galliano is a 43-acre parcel that belongs to the Penelicate First Nation. Since I was a child, the two Crocker families were the only native families on the northern tip. My immediate family lived on one side of Baines Bay, next to the gas station that was once there, and my cousins lived at Alcala, or as some call it, Henry's Bay. However, in the days of my grandparents' youth, there were many more families here. We were a fishing family on both my mother and my father's side. We fished salmon and cod for a living. We shared the bay with the Japanese who also fished the area. As I grew up, I watched all the gradual changes in the amount of fish being harvested. First, the local herring were getting scarce, which made it hard for fishermen to get bait. Then the end of the cod fishery in 1984 and then shortly after, the rock cod. There is still a salmon fishery, but it is really limited. Around 1981 is when we really noticed that slowing down. Eventually, I sold my boat in 92 for lack of opportunity. The recovery of the cod fishery is very slow because of the increased harbor seal in California sea lion populations. Some sensitive areas are fished out. It's all going to take time for it to fully recover. A lot has changed on this land since my youth. People have come and gone, the native families, the Japanese, and the landscape has altered. This wetland area here was much smaller 20 years ago than what we see today. The beavers have built dams, another example of how the predator-prey balance can change the landscape. People slowly began to move away from Polier Pass as a way of life was lost. I moved back and forth multiple times, first to go to high school, then to find steady work after I stopped fishing. That is when I started my family and began to sustain myself as a commercial painter. I've been back on Galliano a year now. I came to terms with the demise of the fishing industry a long time ago. But revisiting this place now brings back the hard feelings and the memories of a lost time. The thing now I think about the most is, will this ecosystem recover from years of mismanagement and overfishing? Should natives be managing their own waters or ecosystems? The question I wonder about is who's responsible for this? It's like we're 40 years too late. When I think of my fondest memories from childhood, I always remember the smell of Japanese cooking when all the fishermen would come into the dock in the bay and have lunch. I loved listening to their stories. We had two very distinct cultures here, native and Japanese, but they all shared a real common bond. This is my story. This is my history. I am glad I had a chance to tell you.